Hello and welcome to Diet Diaries, a prime capsule designed to guide you towards leading a healthier, more fulfilling life. I'm Cheryl Afonso and over the next couple of minutes, I'll be sharing with you answers to nutritional questions that have always boggled you and left you wondering about what's right. And is drinking too much water harmful? A simple question with no easy answers. Every day we lose water through our breath, perspiration, urine and bowel movements. For our body to function properly, we must replenish its water supply. For water is our body's principal chemical component and makes up about 60% of our body weight. Every system in our body depends on water. Water flushes out toxins, carries nutrients to the cells, provides a moist environment for the ear, nose and throat tissues, lubricates our joints and regulates body temperature too. A lack of water can lead to dehydration and even mild dehydration can drain your energy and make you tired. The oft recommended 8 by 8 rule that is 8 glasses of 8 ounces or 250 ml of water per day has been replaced today with the knowledge that your water needs depend on many factors including your health, how active you are and where you live. Nutritionists suggest an adequate intake for men to be roughly 3 litres and for women 2.2 litres a day. However, you may need to modify your total fluid intake depending on a few factors. One. If you exercise or engage in any activity that makes you sweat, you need to drink extra water to compensate for the fluid loss. An extra 400 to 600 ml of water should suffice for short bouts of exercise. But intense exercise lasting more than an hour requires more fluid intake. Also continue to replace fluids even after you have finished exercising. Hot or humid weather can make you sweat and requires additional intake of fluid. Heated indoor air also can cause your skin to lose moisture during winter time, while altitudes greater than 8200 feet may trigger increased urination and more rapid breathing which use up more of your fluid reserves. When you have fever, vomiting or diarrhea, your body loses additional fluids. In these cases, you should drink more water. You may also need increased fluid intake if you develop conditions such as constipation, bladder infections or urinary tract stones. On the other hand, some conditions such as heart failure and some types of kidney, liver and adrenal diseases may impair excretion of water and even require that you limit your fluid intake. Women who are expecting or breastfeeding need additional fluids to stay hydrated. Although it's a great idea to keep water within reach at all times, you don't need to rely only on what you drink to meet your fluid needs. What you eat also provides a significant portion of your fluid needs. On an average, food provides about 20% of total water intake. For example, many fruits and vegetables such as watermelon and tomatoes are 90% or more water by weight. In addition, beverages such as milk and juice are composed mostly of water. To answer the second part of this question, although uncommon, it is possible to drink too much water. When your kidneys are unable to excrete the excess water, the electrolyte, that's the mineral content of the blood is diluted, resulting in low sodium levels in the blood, a condition called hyponatremia. Endurance athletes such as marathon runners who drink large amounts of water are at higher risk of hyponatremia. In general though, Problems associated with drinking too much water are very rare in healthy adults. It only causes the inconvenience of more frequent trips to the bathroom. Some of tips that can help you reach your daily water goals. Drink two cups of water before every meal. Get into the habit of drinking one glass of water when you wake up and another glass before you go to sleep every night. Buy a special water bottle for yourself and set a goal of how many times you will fill and finish the container. Water doesn't have to be boring and infusing your water with fruit, herbs and other flavours can make it much easier to reach your daily goal. Generally though, calculations apart, if you drink enough fluid, 
so that you rarely feel thirsty and produce one and a half liters or more of colorless or light yellow urine a day, your fluid intake is probably adequate. Well, that's your diet tip for today. If you have any queries related to the subject of food, diet and nutrition or comments that you wish to share with us, please email us at the address you see scrolling below and we'll be more than happy to address your question in our upcoming episodes. Eat right, stay healthy with Diet Diaries on Prime. We've been warned about consuming anything artificial. We love our packaged foods and with a revolution in healthy eating practices, some people do turn over labels, read the contents and try to decipher what's good and not so good.